like an image and you're using like a background and you're gonna be adding to that background, different layers. If you don't like the layer, you can remove it or you can put it back in, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Now, don't do anything yet. I'm just gonna show you how to use layers. That's it. Then the second part we're gonna do is you're gonna bring in an image. When you bring in the image, that is when you guys pay attention and start messing around with the, the Photoshop because I'm only gonna show you a couple of things. And that is where you guys are gonna be able to modify that image, okay? So we're on the same page? Good, okay. So if you look up here, this is what you should see when you get into Photoshop, okay? On top, it's like almost like a window, uh, like Microsoft Windows, you have file, edit, image, enhance, layer, select, filter. So you have that on top, you click on it, and of course it gives you different options and like a drop-down menu. On the far left, you have your toolbar. And right there you have like your cursor, you have like a little hand and you can magnify something. The T is for text, that means you can actually type on your image. There's also some uh, other tools which you can add color. You can actually also erase. That's an erase tool. Okay. So you have different options that you can use on your picture. So like I said, I'm gonna show you a couple of things and you guys start messing around with it so you guys can get more familiar with it. And probably that's the best way to learn is when you start just uh, going in there and you know, you learn by trial and error, okay? So, okay, everybody's good? Yeah. Awesome. Now, once you change them to pixels, you're changing the width and height to 1,000. 1,000 pixels for the height, 1,000 uh, pixels for the width. Just type, click on it and type it in. How many? 1,000. For what? Yes, sir. Width and height. Make sure you change them. So, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, and okay. Now, once you change them both to pixels and you put a thousand, a thousand, you get what do you say? A white sheet. A white sheet. A white sheet. That's your background. That's what you're going to be working on. Okay? So, we're going to click okay. on top. You have a magnifying glass. It is just kind of small. You click on it. But what we did is we created a, a, a hamburger. Very easy. We're just going to create shapes and layer them on top of each other. Y'all see that? Okay. It's like a little heart. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna click there, and then you get shapes. Now, the reason that it's already on the circle is because that's what I use for the first period. Okay. So, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna come here. And this is going to be my hand. When you eat a hamburger, is a hamburger uh, white? Just a bun is white by itself? No. What color is it? Brownish. Brownish. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the color. You, this, I think you do have a bucket tool. You click on the bucket, you come down here. You click on the, the little the two squares next to each other. And then you get like a palette, a color palette. You need to change it to whatever you want. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna put it right in here. Cool. Well, that's supposed to be a bun. Now, well, what should we put on top of that? Meat. Meat. Okay, so we go back to the heart, <laughs> click on it. So, you want to use the same circle or do you want to use something else? Like a different type of shape for, for the meat? Square. A square. Okay, it's Wendy's. So we <laughs> click there. And look at, the, you get like a crosshairs. And we put the, the meat. And there's your meat. Now, as you can see over there on the bottom, what's it creating? And I just mentioned it right right now. Layers. layers. Very good class. It's creating layers. You have the background. You have in the look. Check this out. If I click right here on the second one, which is the, the just this one, I can move it around. And why is that? Because you're working with layers. You're putting something on top of each other. So you can actually even remove that if you want to. That's okay. And this one right here. So you click in selection tool. You just move your mouse, you, you tap on it and bring it down. You see how it captured everything in except for his ear. Photoshop will literally look for pixels that are similar and it literally just got the hair. Okay. Now how do you remove it? You click delete. And you can remove hair. But is it permanent? You no. What do you do if you want to change? Go back. Click file. No, not file. Edit. Yeah, very good kid. Edit and undo. 
Clicking it again, undo delete. There's back. also this band-aid. You see the band-aid right here? Yeah. It's called a spot healing brush. This one is pretty cool. You click on it. Let's search for example. You see he has lines right here in his forehead? You can actually remove blemishes from pictures. So that's the cool thing about it. If you keep on, when you're removing stuff, it actually is gonna pick up pictures from right here. It's gonna put them over here. So make sure that that's what you're doing. Just take it slow and you can start removing his, his, his uh, mustache.